whispering because it's early as heck and I don't want to wake my guy up. I got to get out the door. Uh, I think it's 6. It's like between 6.15 and 6.30. I got to get out the house by 6.30 a.m. And I'm in my beauty room slash office slash all that. So, um, first thing that's important, I'm going to take you through the whole process of me getting out of the door and my journey. First of all, grocery shopping is a sport for me. Um, I take it very seriously. I used to coupon, but the coupon um, community actually ch has changed. It's not even... Anyway, I'll talk about that probably later, but um, what I'm in here right now for is first step is to decide what wig I'm going to put on today because this is not a quick. So I'm starting the store. Oh, the first store opens up at 7 a.m. and I need to be there at 7 a.m. because um, it's the whole pandemic and I'm not, I don't like shopping in crowds. Uh, hopefully I can try to find some Lysol um, or find like some cleaning products. I have some, but every time I go to the store, it's necessary for me to buy stuff and stockpile it. I don't, I try not to buy too much at a time um, just because I care about other people having access. Um, oh, you guys, I hear my stomach. Oh my God, I'm going to have to eat something. Um, but anyway, so what's important is, like I said, the wig, the kind of wig that you put on, or <laughs> I wear wigs, but the, how I'm doing my hair. So I've actually been rocking this curly hair a lot lately because it's a throw on, but I have not been out the house literally in two weeks. Um... And so I'm caught, my quarantine period is over. I was exposed to COVID-19. Um, I tested negative for it, but I, again, I care about people, right? So a lot of people don't care about other people. And I hope this line isn't too bad. But a lot of people don't think about their responsibility to other people. And I do, so I've stayed quarantined and my house is bare bones i have so much we're about to shop for real for real today um so yeah but anyway i don't want to be hot i don't want to be too hot so i'm about to um i'm about to put on my little bob friend and, and i'm back i don't know where my handheld tripod is um so that's kind of, I would be able to hold this more steady. Sorry. I'll be able to hold this more steady if I had my handheld tripod. And I didn't think um, it was late and I went to sleep last night. So I didn't think to grab it. But, um, so we're gonna do a little bob so that as the day goes, progresses on, I'm not freaking boiling out there in the heat so i'll see you guys in the car so today i'm running late and it is extremely important it used to be more important to be there at opening um but i'm going to a different walmart in a different city so the last time i went shopping i went to the walmart that's in the area that i live in and to be honest I live in a pre-gentrified area, so I see what well, it's it's amazing to see how much they do our community, like how much they do to our community as far as it being a food desert, as far as the wealth disparity, as far as the stores not being stocked. Um, I really have just made do with it during pandemic because I didn't want to have to drive far. But I ended up going to, last time I went shopping, I went to BJ's as well to grab some items. And there's a Walmart by that BJ. So the first store we're going to is Walmart. And like I told you guys, excuse me, like I told you guys, um, grocery shopping 
is absolutely a sport for me. I used to be a couponer. So doing run deals, um, the buy one, the coupon, like, listen, I used to be a couponer. I used to sell diapers to people uh, because I would get them legit so cheap. Ah, uh, shit. I just remember where I forgot. Okay. So, I'm on a liquid diet this entire time today because I just realized that I don't have my case for my teeth. Just great. Just great. Damn it. Really, I'm going to be so hungry by the time I get back home. But I guess this way it's going to be smashed. So, what was I saying? So, yeah, um, couponing. So... Because of that, I'm very used to going to multiple stores. And you have to be comfortable with shopping at multiple stores if you're really um, a savvy person about how you spend your dollar, okay? Because you can't buy everything at every store. And how stores get you is places like Publix, even though they're under a lot of fire, um, but I've, I've always loved Publix because of their buy one, get ones. But so their buy one, get ones come in cheap, right? But they raise the price on everything else in the store. So when you're buying things like that aren't on sale, or you're buying other items that you are that are that you need, other than the buy one get one, um, you're paying a premium for them, and you're going to spend more. Which is why if you've ever like did a full grocery haul at Publix, you know that it's hard to get groceries like on a hundred dollars. It's like going to Target. It's like shopping at Target, and that's because they are banking on people being lazy and coming in for the buy one get one sales bringing in people for the sales and they're like well i'm not gonna go anywhere else and eh, that's wrong so i'll do more of an exhaustive um grocery shopping tips list or, or like ships uh, a grocery shopping tips list video um not while i'm actually out here shopping i'll do that i'll sit down and give you guys my tips and where are the best places to shop because I get asked this on Instagram all of the time I actually I need a lot of stuff because like I said I have not been um, I've been in quarantine or whatever so I absolutely I have my mask I have my gloves I typically don't wear gloves in the stores because I have hella wipes hella hand sanitizer hella Clorox um, and things like that so it I just rather clean my hands and wash my hands than in the, in the stores than have to walk around my hands sweating in the gloves and I can save the gloves for more important things Walmart I do wear gloves in because I hate to be like that but girl y'all it's not Target <sighs> they do not be cleaning their buggies get my tunes right praise God a little bit before I get to the store um Saw, but I'm not surprised about that. Um, there were a lot of people in the store. I wonder if they even opened up at 7 a.m. I feel like they opened up early. Not a lot like people up on each other, but a lot like everybody came for the damn I saw, okay? <laughs> but so I was able to get some Clorox, um, some Pledge, because I've needed some more of that. <sighs> Always good to keep paper towels. We both did paper towels. I'm going to BJ's next, but I'm going to see if they have some too. But always good to keep that. Um, just things that I've already needed from the house, but so far so good. Now I'm actually gonna do food shopping. Strategy is I work from the I'm working from the back of the store to the front of the store because that's where the cleaning supplies were. So um, I guess I should have recorded my face talking versus that, but um, yeah. So I'll probably be doing very minimum recording while in the store because. Um, I don't have a camera. I mean, I have a camera, but I didn't bring it because I don't have a, those handheld things for to keep it steady. And it's just hard when you're trying to move fast and get in and out of stores. So. Paper towels. Um, their Tyson chicken tenders, the big bag, is so much better than the ones that are in the regular grocery store. Uh, what else did I get? My man likes beef jerky, so 
I get the value, the big pack of that for him. I found some nitrile gloves for PPE. Um, the Aldi's in this location is always crowded. I don't like that. Okay, so I'm pulling up to Aldi's right now. Um, thankfully, they do be cleaning these buggies. Tomatoes were trash. BJ's, I didn't even look over there because BJ's, I wouldn't buy fruits and vegetables from there because they're you're not really getting a deal. Um, to me, in my personal opinion, you get a better deal from an Aldi. Oh shit, fresh my bread. You get a you get a better deal from um from let's say Aldi's. <clears throat> so I don't do fruits and vegetables at BJ's, so I didn't even walk over there. But I just went to Publix, and Publix usually has is where you can definitely count on good produce. But their shit was trash, already spoiled. So, I don't know what's going on. But, and then there are, I'm gonna show you guys when I find it, but there are these oatmeal vegan bars by Nature's Bakery. So good. It is so effing good. So I'm like, where the heck are these bars at? Because I I need it. I, I I'm not leaving today. So I'm on a mission. So I'm about halfway through. I'm gonna hit this Kroger's that's right here before I go back to my side of town. And I'm gonna hit Walmart again. What do I want? Maybe I won't hit Walmart again. I'll hit Walmart again if I don't see the um, the Nature's Bars that I'm looking for. I'll hit Walmart again on my way back home and then I need to hit all these again. Okay, we're in business and while the good ones are in the back and they got these nasty cherry ones in the front, but I'm gonna get some apple because I'm not about to be I'm gonna get the boxes of this because I'm not want to be searching for this anymore. But this is the second Kroger I've been to and I was able to find it, thankfully. So just done now i'm going home i'm sorry look how bad i'm sweating it's 90 almost 95 degrees i am y'all i'm so happy to get home it is 12 52 like i said i am tired i just got to the house i'm about to go in let my guy know that i'm here so he can unload all of this stuff and then i'm gonna set it up so you can take a guess for the giveaway
give you the details on the giveaway. Um, I didn't really know when I was filming the vlog. I didn't have an idea. I decided I was doing a giveaway during that grocery trip or during that haul and didn't know exactly what the parameters are. But the parameters are very, 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 very simple. I want you to subscribe to this channel. Then you can DM me that you have subscribed and on Instagram at Jaya Shanae on Instagram, send me a DM. I will enter you in. This is all for a $25 gift card. Um, especially since this video is, this haul is about grocery shopping and food. So I would love to be able to provide groceries for someone who would like. So just very, 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 very simple. Subscribe to this channel. Send me a screenshot of you being subscribed to my channel on my Instagram at jayashanae. I'll put my name up somewhere on this screen so that you're able to see it. And I will announce the winner. Um, how will I do the winner? I will announce the winner on both Instagram and on my next video. So this will run um, once I hit 100 subscribers. Far from 100, right here at the finish line. So hopefully we can have this in the next week. But I have plenty of videos coming out. I will announce it on Instagram, on my stories, as well as on my next video. So you will see in the title of the video that the giveaway winner is announced. And I'll reach out personally to that person to go ahead and get either their Cash App or I think Cash App may be the best way to send it. I'm not sure if I can send a gift card, maybe Amazon. Well, I'll figure out how I will distribute the money later, but I'll reach out directly and figure out what's most convenient for the winner of this giveaway. I hope you guys are excited for that gift card and excited for the content that I'm bringing to this channel. I would love it if you would just go ahead and like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get pinged whenever I upload some new content. Thanks. Bye-bye.